Hello, Mr. Price, and this is your video on the Year 8 Unit 5 on angles in parallel lines. Let's go straight into this. So, first thing to notice is that I have parallel lines um, here and here. And uh, I apologise, those should be on there on your sheet already. So those should be on there, and they will, all be, uh, they will always be given to you. So, let's work out the solid easy ones first. So I notice it's 112 degrees here, and this angle here, C lie on a straight line. So to work out angle C, I'm just going to do 180, take away 112, okay, and that should give you um, 68 degrees. So this angle here is 68 degrees. Okay, now I also know the opposite angles are equal, so these two are opposite each other, so that's also 112, and these are opposite here, so that's also 68 degrees. Okay, so now let's look at this one. Now at the moment there is no information about um, these angles. So, I'm just going to use the positioning to help me work out which is which. So, this angle here, this 112, is above and to the right of my parallel line. So I'll do the same on here, and angle E is also going to be 112. And now I can work out the rest. So these are going to be opposite. That's 112. Okay. Um, now this 68 degrees is above and to the left, so above and to the left is also 68 degrees. And then this leaves this one here, which is also 68 degrees. Okay. So with this, I always just use a positioning to help. Okay. Let's have a look at question two. So this is a multi-part question. So first thing I notice is I've got a triangle here with two lines the same length. This means it's an isosceles triangle, and the base angles, that's the two angles on the unequal side, so here's my base here, are going to be equal. So let's first do 180, take away 38, um, like that, and that will give me 142 degrees. And then, because these two angles add up to 142, and they're the same angle, I can divide this by 2 to get 71 degrees. So each one of these angles is 71 degrees. Okay. Now I notice that these lie on straight lines, so I can now work out this angle and this angle. Okay, so these need to add up to 180, so 180 take away 71 is going to be 109, so these are both 109 degrees. Okay, and now there's a couple of ways you can do this from here. Now you might remember that opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. Sorry, I've made a mistake here. That's not 109 degrees. I do apologise. These are not on a straight line. So what if you spotted that while I was doing that? So those are not 109 degrees. Just this one is, because this is on a straight line. Okay, so from here, you've got a couple of choices. You either remember that on a parallelogram, the opposite angles are equal. Or, we can use our... Um, angles in parallel lines to help us. So, here's a parallel line, and here's a parallel line, and here's our transversal here, or here. Okay, so, um, if I focus on this one, this one, and this one, I've got the top right angle being 71, so here, the top right angle will also be 71 degrees. Okay. And now if I deal with this parallel line and this parallel line, then this is also going to be 71 degrees. Therefore, this is 180 take away this, which we already know is 109 degrees, as we expected. And then likewise, this angle is alternate to this one, so this one is also 71 degrees. 
Okay, I know I may have done that a little bit fast. Um, and observe also the opposite angles in the parallelogram are equal. So you could have just used that fact instantly or use your previous knowledge from the parallelograms. Okay, let's look at question three. Now, first thing I'm going to do is extend all my lines so it looks a little bit more like question one. Okay, so this bottom right angle is 3x. These are parallel. Here's my transversal. So the bottom right is also going to be 3 x. These are corresponding angles. Okay. So we know that opposite angles are equal, so this is also 3x. We don't actually need this information, but I might as well put it on. And this is opposite angle, so this is 6x. And now you've got two choices. You can either cover this bit up, and you see the angles on a straight line add to 180. So we can say that 6x plus 3x equals 180 degrees because they lie on a straight line. 6x plus 3x is 9x and now to solve this you um, get rid of the multiply by 9 by dividing by 9 on both sides and you get x equals 20 degrees. Okay so if x is 20 degrees then 6 of those it's going to be 6 lots of 20, so that's 120 degrees, and 3 lots of 20, and is 60 degrees. And you can work out the remaining ones if you want to as well. So 60 and 120. Okay, and finally our extension question. So again, I'm going to just extend my lines a bit to help. Okay, so I have a parallel line here and a parallel line here, given by this here. So I know that that bit is going to be 58 degrees as well, because it's a top right position for both. So this is 58 degrees. Okay, so I also know this bit here, I'm now splitting it into pieces, is also 58 degrees. So I can work out this one by doing 180 take away 58, which gives me 122 degrees. So this is also 122 degrees. Now, let's work out what x is worth. So 4x is worth all of this amount. So, and all that amount is 58 degrees, 58 degrees, and 122. So let's add those up up here. So 58 plus 58 plus 122. Okay, and if you need to, you can do a very quick addition here. 8 and 2 is 10, plus 8 is 18. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 1 and 1, 238. Okay, so this is equal to all that angle here, which we were told was 4x. So 238 is equal to 4x. So to work out what 1x is, we're going to divide both sides by 4. 4s into 2 don't go. 4s into 23 go 5 times remainder 3. And 4s into 38 goes 9. And then decimal point, decimal point, put in our placeholder 0. And we are 2 away. 4s into 20, go 5. So x is worth 59.5. Okay, and that is a tricky question. That's why it's an extension. Okay. So now we can do a similar thing with this. Now, all of this angle is going to be the same as all of this angle. So you can work out what y is worth. So this bit's a bit easier. 7y is equal to the same as this one, which is 238. So to work out this, you divide by 7. Okay, and um, just to save some time on the video, I'm going to use a calculator for this one. And that gives you 34. 
So x is worth 59 and a half, y is worth 34 degrees. Okay, really good job if you followed that or got most of that done. Okay, it's just easy just to look through the um, fusion lines and add lines on to help you. Okay, section two. So this is where we need to use our angle rules. <clears throat> so, um, firstly, we need to decide, are these two equal? And the answer is yes, they will be, because that will be equal to this, and this bit's the same position as this one. So they are equal, and the reasoning is they are on different sides of the transversal line. This one's on the left-hand side, this one's on the right-hand side, so they are alternate sides of the angle, um, of the transversal line. So angle A equals 12 degrees, because alternate angles... are equal. Okay, angle B. So let's decide, are these the same? Well, it's a top left and a top left, so yes they are. Angle B is 72. And the reason you would be, we would give, is because corresponding, they're on the same side, they're both on the upper position. So corresponding angles are equal. You must always give this full explanation. Okay, and finally, angle C is not 42. Okay, these are allied angles. So, allied angles sum to 180 degrees. So, therefore, this one will be um, 8 to get to 50, uh, 30 to get to 80, 138 degrees. Okay, and that's the first three questions for section two done. And now finally, let's have a look at this extension question. Now, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly, but observe how I do it. So, here's my starting point. It's where I've got my only piece of information. I notice it's on an, equal, um, on an isosceles triangle. So this angle and this angle are equal. So I'm going to do 180, take away 40 equals um, 140 degrees and then divide that by 2 to get these ones equals 70 degrees and the reason I have here is base angles on an isosceles I'm going to just um, shorten that to isosceles so isosceles triangle are equal okay so there's 70 degrees. Okay. And let's have a look. Oh, yes, of course. So uh, these lines are also the same. So this bit here is also going to be 70 degrees and 70 degrees. So this angle here has to add up to 90, so that's 20 degrees, okay. So this angle here is also 20 degrees. So now I can work out angle X, okay, so you add up to 180, take off the 90 to add up to 90, take off the 20, so if I do this 180, take away um, 90, take away 20 is 70 degrees so that's what angle X is and the reason we've given this is that angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees so you should have at least two reasons for this question okay well done if you tried that and as always see me in class if you need some help